So these are three of Nespresso's newest models. We have the Virtuo Plus, the Virtuo Pop, and the Virtuo Next. They all use the same brewing system, but they're quite different as we'll see. So for most of this video, we're just going to focus on the Virtuo Plus and the Virtuo Next. The Virtuo Pop is pretty similar to the Virtuo Next, so we're going to move it out and talk about it later. So when comparing the Virtuo Plus to the Virtuo Next, you'll see there's some serious design differences here. So first off, you'll notice the Virtuo Plus is more of a rounded top, where the Virtuo Next is a little flatter and has sharper edges to it. I think the biggest design difference here is how the lid opens. So you'll notice the Virtuo Plus has a motorized opening. Just tap the lever, and it opens, and then you can just tap it and it closes. Meanwhile, on the Virtuo Next, it's got a spring-loaded lid. So you unclip it, and then it pops open. And to close it, you, know, you use two hands, hold it down, and then clip it back into place. It does require some extra force and is manual, and if you don't close it all the way, the lid can pop back up and your capsule fall in the used capsule container. Meanwhile, the Virtuo Plus, very easy, and it's quite elegant and classy with the motorized lid opening. An additional difference here is in the water tanks. So notice the Virtuo Plus, it has this rotating water tank here where you can have it on either side or you can have it on the back, which I like being in a small city apartment, putting it on the side just frees up some counter space. You know, all the Virtuo Next, the water tank is fixed in the back, which is kind of the standard for most machines out there. Also, the Virtuo Plus is a 40 ounce water tank versus a 37 ounce water tank in the Virtuo Next. Now, I have the Virtuo Plus Deluxe version, which is a 60 ounce water tank, and I do recommend the bigger water tank. It just reduces refilling, which I really like. Additionally, the used pod container is a little different. So, the Virtuo Plus, it comes on the back. And it's a little larger and it holds about 10 pods. Meanwhile, the Virtuo Next on the side, and you can tell it's a two piece container here, and that reduces the capacity of it to about eight pods. So, overall, you have several design differences here that all favor the Virtuo Plus. Now, I think the brewing differences are the most interesting to me. So, like I said, they actually have the same brewing technology, and that's the Virtuo system, which is a centrifusion brewing system. You put the pod in, the machine forces water into the middle, and then it actually spins the pod up to 7,000 times a minute. In that centrifugal force, the spinning is what brews the coffee, and then the brewed coffee comes out the sides of the pod and into your cup. But the difference here is that the Virtua Plus consistently brews hotter than the next. I actually found testing over several pods that the Virtua Plus was hotter by about 8 degrees on average. And that's important because... Hotter temperature is more energy to your beans, and it'll actually extract more of the coffee flavor. And so I found the Virtuo Plus coffee tasted consistently richer and sweeter than the Virtuo Next. And I think it's actually even more notable to bring up brewing temperature, because as we found in a previous video comparing the espresso versus the espresso machine, that actually espresso brews cooler than the traditional espresso machine. And so when you lose several extra degrees on the Virtuo Next, it does have that extra impact on flavor. Now, additionally, You'll notice the Virtuo Next is louder than the Virtuo Plus. The Virtuo Next, it kind of sounds like you're on an airplane. Meanwhile, the Virtuo Plus has more of a, a softer whirring noise. I actually measured them both using the same pod and found that the Virtuo Plus was about 62 decibels on the Decibel X app, while the Virtuo Next was closer to about 70 decibels. To be clear, neither was that loud at all. They're actually quieter than most espresso machines out there, but the Virtuo Plus is definitely quieter than the Virtuo Next. So all these design differences and brewing differences kind of lead to an interesting question. Is the Virtuo Next poorly designed? Well, actually, there are a lot of reports out there that it is. There are a lot of people who have complained that their Virtuo Next will start leaking and stop working pretty quickly after using it. This has come up on Facebook groups, has also come up on Reddit. And if you even go on Nespresso's own website, you'll see that the Virtuo Next is rated at 3.9 stars, which is the, the lowest of any product on their site. Meanwhile, the Virtuo Plus is rated at 4.7, which is more in line with the average of the other machines. So that should be enough to give you some concern. Now, I want to be clear. I have not had any issues with my Virtuo Next. And actually, I had a model of Virtuo Next before this that I gave away. And from what I've been told, that model is working just fine. So I haven't had any issues, but there are a lot of complaints out there that you should think about. Now, the Virtuo Next does have a few other interesting features to point out. 
So first off, it has a couple additional drink sizes. So the Virtua Plus comes with a standard four different drink options, the single espresso, double espresso, Gran Lungo, and coffee size. But if you get a Virtuo Next, you get two additional sizes. You get the 12-ounce Alto XL size, and you also get an 18-ounce craft style size, which is meant to be a pour-over. Now I'm based in the U.S., where we love our big drinks, and so I was actually pretty excited to get the Virtuo Next and try out those pods. Now, what I'll say on that craft style pod is it's not replacing my Chemex anytime soon. It was, I guess, a pour-over style, a little milder, but also a little more weekly brewed. And even a 12-ounce Alto, I was really excited for that because that's like a perfect nice mug of coffee for me. But again, you just can't put enough coffee into those pods to make a, a, a properly extracted coffee. It tends to be about a 1 to 20 ratio, so a little more weekly brewed than most other coffees out there. So while those larger pod sizes are nice and some people may like those, I still stick with most of the coffee size pod when using the espresso Virtuo or a double espresso size. Now, our Virtuo Next is one additional feature, and this is Wi-Fi connectivity. So you can download the Nespresso app and easily connect your Virtuo Next to your phone. And then you can get firmware updates that way. It's easy to do, but honestly, I have not seen a firmware update that's really changed this machine in any way, shape, or form. So I'm not sure it's really going to do much. So overall, where do I stand? Well, I think the Virtuo Plus wins hands down. The design differences alone win it for me. Then there's the brewing temperature, which is another big factor. And while the Virtuo Next has some additional drink sizes, it just doesn't get over some of the design differences here. So I'll link both these products in the description below where you can find them. And now I think it's time we bring in the Virtuo Pop. So the Virtuo Pop is Nespresso's latest model. It's only come out a few months ago as of this filming. And you can tell it looks like the Next, but it's smaller. It's always kind of called the Mini Next here. And it has a lot of the same features where it has this spring-loaded lid where you can unclip it, pop open. It also has a noisier brewing. And it also has the cooler brewing. I found it's about 10 degrees cooler than the Virtuo Plus in my testing. Now, what the Virtuo Pop does have is just the sheer size and value. You can tell it's the smallest out of the machines, and it's the least expensive out of the machines as well. I like the small compact size, the side water tank gives me plenty of clearance. My countertop, you can easily fit in your home or an office space. And it's the cheapest entry into the Espresso Virtuo family. Additionally, you do get one larger drink size. You get a 12-ounce Alto XL pod that can work with this machine. Like I said before, that can be one of the better of the big drink sizes, but I still tend to stick with coffee sizes. One drawback is the water tank is about 25 ounces on this Virtuo Pop Plus model. It's a larger water tank option on this one. It's still a little limiting. I find that if you're drinking two coffees a day, you're going to be refilling it every other day. Now, I think there is one really interesting feature on the Virtuo Pop, and that's its ability to brew any pod as a double espresso. So the double espresso is the 2.7 ounce size of pod, and what you can do is you can put in any pod and then double tap the top button, and it will turn turquoise, and it will brew that pod as that double espresso size. Now, it doesn't sound that unique, but what's interesting is you can take a big pod, a coffee-sized pod, put it in, and then double tap the button, and you'll get a much more concentrated coffee. And I have actually really loved the taste of those. It's a lot brighter, it's a lot more powerful in terms of flavor, and it actually makes it closest to a true espresso machine. So I think that little-known feature on the pop, to make a double espresso of any pod, is really good, and it's actually what I really like about this model here. So do check that out. Now overall, we've now looked at all three of these Virtuo models, and the pop actually comes out pretty high on the list here. I think if you're looking for something that just has a small size and a good value, this is a good option. But I still think the Virtuo Plus is best overall. Honestly, the motorized lid is what does it for me in itself, let alone the hotter brewing and richer taste to it. Now you can find all three of these models linked in the description below. And we'll have some follow-up videos coming on this. So comment if you have any questions, anything you want to hear about these. And hit like if you enjoyed this video because it really supports our channel. And subscribe to see those future videos.